Okay, so a lot of buzz going on right now about the new iPhone 15 Pro. I apologize, in my last video it was late and I kept referring it to the iPhone 14 Pro. It's like when New Year's happens and you're in January and you keep writing the year of the previous year. That's what happened, iPhone 15 Pro. So I'm not gonna go in today and explain what log footage is, but essentially it's footage that you're shooting that takes up a lot more space because you're capturing a lot more data. And because of that, you don't wanna shoot internally on your phone because it's gonna take up all the space. So with the USB-C port on the new iPhone 15 Pro, you now have the ability to record externally using log files. So let me show you how this works here. So, so I'm gonna provide you with a couple of options here. Okay, option number one is if you have an SD card and you could use a USB-C card reader like this one here from Apple. I can put my card in and I can plug it into my phone. But the only problem is when I'm shooting now, I'm gonna look like this and have that little guy hanging out, which isn't terrible, and you're not gonna be doing it all the time. That's option number one. Option number two and three are very similar. Um, right here. Option number two is if you have one of these SanDisk external SSDs, you could use this here, and I can use that USB-C to USB-C. However, now you got a longer thing hanging there which is fine because you could actually use the included USB-C braided cable that you have here. You can plug that in. Then you can plug in the SSD to it as well. And this could actually work. You put this in your pocket and then now you shoot and you have this cord hanging out, but it's not like in your way, which could work. However, the USB-C port on the new iPhone can transfer up to USB 3.0 speeds and the braided cable that's included only gets you USB 2.0 speeds. So that's an option. But this final option that I'm really excited about, I actually did not come up with the idea. iPhone do, he came up with the idea, he was the first one to do it, and I really like his version. So this version, what you could do is you could still use an SSD, but this one comes from Samsung, and it's a lot smaller in size to the SanDisk here. And I'm gonna show you why I chose to do the Samsung instead of the SanDisk, because they're both pricey SSDs. I mean, any external SSD is going to be. But um, if you watch my fine woven video, here's my case. And look, you can see right there, I, I, I do actually like to use this case. It's actually not too bad at all. Um, I know that it's getting a lot of bad reviews online. You could also see the circle that's there from MagSafe accessories I've been using. But I do like the case. I mean, it, it, it grips well. It grips well where I'm holding it, which is the size, and that's all that matters to me in my opinion. But the reason why I'm using the USB-C adapter provided by Apple is because the adapter point is thin enough to fit inside the case. So you can see right there, which a lot of cables can't do that. For example, this USB-C cable from the SanDisk drive, it barely sits on there and it falls out very easily. And then, um, you know, you plug that into this, but that's how that would go. So that's why I'm jumping to the Samsung version here. So a couple of materials that we're going to need. The Samsung drive, a little zip tie. Also, this thin cable right here is USB-C and does 20 gigabytes per second transfer speeds on there. So it's thin, it's small, it's flat, and also the transfer speeds are faster than the provided braided cable. We're going to have that there. And then this is a MagSafe ring I had just in my accessories box. Um, I think you can just pick these up online if you wanted to. It's just a magnetic circle ring, including that. And the USB-C cables that come with the drive, you actually don't need those. So we'll put those to the side. Oh, actually, let me show you this before we move on. So the reason I'm choosing the Samsung is you can see that it can fit right behind the device right there. What's nice is that MagSafe ring is right there. But I want it to sit right there on my phone. And if I use my SanDisk version, this one, it's a little too big and it hangs off in the bottom there. So the port is here and I want the port to point towards the bottom of the phone. Well, you can see right there, if I have the port here and I put that ring on it, then it's, it's just gonna, it just doesn't work. There's that gap there and it's gonna show the sticky part of the ring and I don't want that on there. I want it to be very clean. So let's make it here. Okay, first things first, we're gonna make sure the USB-C port on the drive is facing the bottom of the phone. And this might be the only time that that ring comes in handy there. Okay, so this is that ring here. It's a magnetic ring. It's magnetic on this side and it's sticky on the back. 
I wonder if I'll just do this, then I don't have to guess is I'll put the ring on right now, but the sticky part facing up. Okay, so I put the ring on there right there and I put the sticky side facing up and I just put it in the mag safe position. So all I need to do is position this in the right spot and press down. Don't mess up. Okay, then now if I lift up, you'll see the ring is on there. It hangs off slightly. It's slightly bigger than the drive itself, but it does actually fit flush with the ring. It's, it's actually the same. I want to say the width of the ring is just as wide as the drive itself. So we got that. And it's a little mag safe SSD. And then next we're going to plug this into the bottom of the drive and also plug it into the bottom of my phone like that. But, but the problem is this right here. So next what we want to do is take this zip tie. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And there you go. There you see the cable it's zip tied on the bottom there. I'm going to cut off this. And that is our full setup there. And when I'm done, I can unplug it and take my drive off. And there I have my external drive ready to go whenever I need it to record log on my iPhone. So that's pretty cool. So shout out to iPhone do. Thanks for making that idea up. This is a pretty awesome setup and I'm excited just to throw this in my bag because I think randomly when I'm out, I'm going to want to shoot in log and have that great footage and not take up the full storage of my phone. So if you found this valuable, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll also have a link to the video from iPhone Do of how he did this in the description. So I want to give all credit to him there. Thank you for sharing this idea with us. And yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you to see another perspective on it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.